Hi everyone, Phil's here. If it's your first time, welcome to our channel. I have created this channel to talk about technology and artificial intelligence, and to help you to understand a little bit more about this new fantastic world. On today's video, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of generative AI and explore the incredible possibilities it brings to the table. Whether you're an art enthusiast, a music lover, or a creative writer, generative AI has something in store for everyone. Get ready to be amazed as we uncover the limitless potential of this cutting-edge technology. So let's get started. First of all, welcome to the world of generative AI, where machines learn to generate new and exciting content. You may have been wondering, what's generative AI? Generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence that has the incredible ability to create new things like images, text, and even music. It's like having an AI-powered artist or composer by your side. While generative AI is still in its early stages, it has the potential to revolutionize how we create and experience content. Generative AI involves training models to learn patterns and structures from vast amounts of data. These models then use their knowledge to create outstanding, mind-blowing content, like some of the images and video you will see here on this video. The impact of generative AI reaches far and wide. In the world of art and design, it allows for the creation of stunning and original artwork, pushing the boundaries of human creativity. Now you know what's generative AI. Let's delve a little bit more into the world of AI, art, and design. So imagine being able to create mesmerizing digital art or generate unique designs effortlessly. Can't imagine that? Maybe because you think you are not a creative person. Don't worry, generative AI is making that possible. Artists and designers are collaborating with AI to explore new artistic territories, generate captivating visuals, and even design stunning products. It's like having an AI-powered creative companion. Let's talk a little bit about some of the most popular generative AI tools available, starting with Midjourney. In my opinion, the most popular and powerful AI tool. Midjourney is a generative AI tool that can create images from text descriptions. It is still in beta but it is free to sign up and use. Midjourney uses a large language model, or LLM for short, to generate images. The LLM is trained on a massive data set of images and text. When you provide Midjourney with a text description, the LLM uses its knowledge of images to generate an image that try to matches your description. Midjourney is really powerful. It can generate a wide variety of images, from realistic to abstract. It can also generate images in different styles and can be used for a variety of purposes, such as create original artworks, such as paintings and drawings. Generate images of new products, such as furniture, clothing, and much more. Midjourney can also be used to create images for stories, such as book covers, movie posters, video game backgrounds. It's a great tool for anyone that would like to start a side hustle. It is likely that Midjourney will continue to develop and improve in the future. As it does, it will become an even more powerful tool for creating and sharing images. How incredible do you think it is? Let me in the comments below if you've tried Midjourney or any other generative AI tool. Let's keep going and talk about how generative AI can help you to become a book bestseller. Generative AI is transforming the world of writing and creativity. It can help you generate unique stories, poetry, or even articles. If you ever need inspiration or ideas, AI models are here to lend a helping hand. They can suggest topics, enhance language translation, and even assist with grammar correction. It's like having an AI-powered writing companion. Overall, generative AI is a promising technology with the potential to change the way we write and consume writing. However, it is important to be aware of the potential risks associated with the technology as well. Generative AI raises ethical concerns, including misuse of deepfakes, bias and discrimination, intellectual property infringement, lack of transparency and explainability, and worker displacement. To address these concerns, developing policies and ethical guidelines is crucial for using generative AI responsibly. But let's look to the bright side and discuss some examples of how generative AI is being used for good and ethical writing. First, content creation. Generative AI can be used to create content for a variety of purposes, such as blog posts, articles, and even books. Next, 
Generative AI can be used to create marketing materials, such as social media posts, ad copy, and product descriptions. Another example is about education. Generative AI can be used to create educational content, such as textbooks, lesson plans, and assessments. Cool, right? Let's keep going. Now you know what's generative AI and what you could do with that. Let's talk about the two of most popular generative AI used for writing purposes. When I recorded this video, the two most popular text generative AI on that space are Google Bard and ChatGPT. Both tools can be used to create text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. Even though both tools are still under development, they have already learned to perform many kinds of tasks and interactions from users and databases. Let's talk a little bit more about each of them, starting with BARD. BARD is a factual language model from Google AI, trained on a massive data set of text and code. It can generate different creative text formats like poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, email, letters, etc., and answer your questions in an informative way. On the other side, ChatGPT is a generative pre-trained transformer model developed by OpenAI. It is also trained on a massive data set of text and code and can generate different unique creative text content. When it comes to similarities, Bard and ChatGPT shared few things in common. First, both tools are large language models, LLMs, that are trained on massive data sets of text and code. Next, both tools can generate different creative text formats, like poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, email, letters, etc. And both tools can answer your questions in an informative way, even if they are open-ended, challenging, or strange. Okay, but what does that mean? This means that Google Bard is better at providing factual information, while ChatGPT is better at generating creative text formats. In other words, while Google Bard is ideal for scenarios where factual information is crucial, such as fact-checking, research, or seeking specific details, ChatGPT is better suited for scenarios where generating imaginative and contextually appropriate text is desired. It can be a valuable companion for brainstorming ideas, creative writing, storytelling, or engaging in dynamic conversations. It's important to recognize that both models have their strengths and limitations. While Google Bard may provide accurate and fact-based information, it may not have the same level of creativity as ChatGPT. Conversely, ChatGPT, being a generative model, may occasionally produce outputs that are creative but less factually reliable. Understanding the strengths and limitations of these models can help users choose the most appropriate tool for their specific needs. By leveraging the unique capabilities of each model, users can effectively navigate through a wide range of tasks, from seeking factual information to generating imaginative and creative content. Overall, both Google Bard and ChatGPT are powerful tools that can be used for a variety of purposes. However, they have different strengths and weaknesses, so it is important to choose the right tool for the job. And just a friendly reminder, Make sure you subscribe to my channel and please leave your thumbs up. That's is really important to support my work. I'll be talking much more about ChatGPT, Bard, and how to use them to create your own side hustle. So the last topic I want to talk about today is a really important one. Let's discuss about the ethical and social implications of generative AI. As with any powerful technology, generative AI brings ethical considerations that need to be carefully addressed. One crucial aspect is the ownership of AI-generated content. As these systems become increasingly proficient at generating original works, determining the rightful ownership and attribution of such content can become complex. It's essential to establish clear guidelines and frameworks that ensure fairness and respect for creators. Moreover, potential biases in generative AI models are another significant concern. Since these models learn from existing data, there is a risk of perpetuating biases present in the training data. It's crucial to be mindful of the data sources used and the potential impact of biases in the generated content. Developers and researchers must strive to create diverse and representative training data sets to mitigate these biases and promote inclusivity. To embrace generative AI ethically, we need to prioritize fair use. It's important to respect copyright laws and intellectual property rights when generating content. Creating mechanisms that allow for proper attribution and acknowledgement of the original creators 
can help maintain ethical standards in the use of AI-generated content. Responsible usage of generative AI also means being mindful of the potential impact it can have on society. We should avoid using this technology for malicious purposes or creating deceptive content that can harm individuals or spread misinformation. By upholding ethical standards, we can harness the potential of generative AI to contribute positively to various domains. Collaboration and collective responsibility are key to shaping a positive future with generative AI. Engaging in open discussions, involving diverse perspectives, and promoting transparency in the development and deployment of these systems are vital steps. By fostering an environment that encourages ethical practices, we can maximize the benefits of generative AI while minimizing potential risks. So guys and girls, that's it. I would like to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this video on generative AI insightful and inspiring. Remember, generative AI is here to empower us, to spark our creativity, and to explore new possibilities. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!